Hello. It is so good to be back with you today. Yes, I trust us. that you have been receiving mm -hmm. from the bites of faith that we've been given. Mm -hmm. Last week, there was a very long one, and mm -hmm. we're talking about, uh, what were we talking about again? Faithfulness, was it? No. We talked about The bite of faith, but the one, the 45-minute one that we did. Do you remember? Oh, you mean in the On Praise FM. Praise yes, FM. that's the one. That's a very interesting what we had there. Yes, and we Talk were about Joseph's coat. Yeah, we were just we were talking about what coat are you wearing? What coat are you wearing? And that was interesting. I hope you were able to mm -hmm. look in on that. So it is Anthony and Cheryl again back yeah. with Faith Bite, and today we mm -hmm. are continuing with our test. We've done the test of trust, mm -hmm. the test of faithfulness, mm -hmm. and today we will be looking at mm -hmm. the test of honor. Mm -hmm. You know, we are looking at Father Abraham. Yes. And so I just want to read a passage and then allow Anthony to just, just go in. Just a encourage you this afternoon or this morning, wherever you are right now. Yes. So I'm going to be reading from Genesis 14, mm -hmm. verse 17 and onwards. After Abram returned from his victory over Kedelomar mm -hmm. and all his allies, the king of Sodom went out to meet him in the Valley of the Kings. Mm -hmm. Valley of Shaveh, that is the king's valley. Mm -hmm. And Melchizedek, the king of Salem and the priest of God the Most High, bought Abram bread Mm -hmm. and wine mm -hmm. and Melchizedek blessed Abram with this blessing. It's a blessing that we know. Blessed be Abram by God most high creator mm -hmm. of heaven and earth mm -hmm. and blessed be God most high mm -hmm. who has defeated your mm -hmm. enemies. Then Abram gave Melchizedek a tenth of all the goods he had recovered. Mm -hmm. And the, the conversation continues. I'm going to get you to read that. Yes. But I just want Anthony to come in and just share mm -hmm. a, a thing about honor. Yes. Honor yes. is very important in you our know, lives. God deserves all our honor and all our glory. Mm -hmm. God deserves all our praise. That's right. If every human being was created by him, for him, mm -hmm. we see here this man, Abraham, that became Abraham. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says that he is truly the father of the faithful. Yeah. So Abraham's relationship with God shows you a place where he was tested in the place of his honor. Mm -hmm. He had just come back. 318 men mm -hmm. were going to take on all these five kings with thousands of people. Mm -hmm. He knew that this victory wasn't his. Have you been there? Well, you know that this wasn't because of your strength, that's your ability, right. your right. talent. Mm -hmm. You know it all. That mm -hmm. God gave you mm -hmm. a victory, a clear victory mm -hmm. over incredible odds. So Abraham is coming back tired and exhausted with all of his people. And what does the king of Salem Melchizedek, the most high, the Bible calls him. It calls that he is a fear of finding. In other words, a God reflection in the Old Testament. Mm. He comes to him and he ministers to Abraham. Mm. And all the people there, he brings wine and he brings food. So their physical needs are met. Mm. And then he also blesses him. So he meets his physical needs and his spiritual needs. See, that's what God does to you and I. He meets not only our spiritual needs with a blessing, but he also meets your physical needs. That's correct. So God is not just, just for your spiritual man, but for all of you. Mm. And then this is mm. what Abraham does. He honors him by tithing. That's so important. No, yes. we, we don't want to take, this is where we have a challenge because yes. of our great teachers of taking tithing into a whole new di dimension after the Levitical priesthood mm. and we go into the tithing and the purpose. But this man gave out of his heart. Mm. He gave honor to the man who met him at his need, ministered him to him spiritually and physically, and he honored Melchizedek. Mm. And that's what I want to encourage you today. There's so many people that want us to honor them. Mm. There's so many things in this world that we can give glory to our honor. But the Bible says that those who honor God, he honors. Mm -hmm. And so I want to encourage you today, wherever you put in your energy, your money, your time, make sure it's a yes. reflection of the ministry of God to you and I. Yes. Make sure that, that God's is so hand true. is over this spirit. That is so true. Because someone can minister mm -hmm. you in your spirit. Yes. And someone can minister to you inside 
of your physical needs. That's right. But really, your time, your mm. offering, mm -hmm. your, your first hours of your day, mm -hmm. the first portion of your life mm. must always go to the one not only who ministers to you, but delivered you from your enemies. Wow. Takes you through the valley of the shadow of death. Wow. Raises you up when you know you couldn't be. I'm thankful for every minister. I'm thankful for every government official, everything in this world. But I do not lift the honor of anyone above the most I. That's right. Today, give all your honor to the most I. Yes. Because Abraham knew how to resist the temptation for the material things. That's right. But he tied it. He tied it. Yes. He gave 10% 10 10 mm -hmm. towards the one who is the most I. That's right. May you today give the first portions of when you wake up in the morning to the most I. Mm -hmm. That when he delivers you, remember to give him all the glory That's and right. all the honor That's right. and all the praise. That's right. Thank God for everybody that ministers to you. But it's he, the most high, that saves you, delivers you, keeps you. And he deserves everything that we have. It's so true. That and, you know, true. even as you're sharing mm -hmm. that, um, I just wanted to read the ending mm -hmm. of that because after he does that, yes, he did. In yeah. honoring Melchizedek, yes, the king of Sodom mm -hmm. says to Abram, mm -hmm. "Give back my people mm -hmm. who were captured, mm -hmm. but you may keep for yourself mm -hmm. all the goods you have recovered." Mm -hmm. And Abram replied to the king of mm -hmm. Sodom. I solemnly swear to the Lord, God mm -hmm. most high, creator of heaven and earth, mm -hmm. that I will not take so much as a single thread mm -hmm. or sandal throng from what belongs mm -hmm. to you. Otherwise, you might say, mm -hmm. I am the one who made Abram rich. Mm -hmm. I will accept only what my young warriors have already eaten. Mm -hmm. And I request that you give a fair share of the goods to my al my allies, mm -hmm. Anur, Eshkol, and Mamre. And if you go into the next passage, mm -hmm. you know what happened? He clearly passes this test of honor. Yes. Chapter 15. Yes. What happens? We see him again passing that test <laughs> and moving on to another relationship. Yes. So we, we, we just wanted to leave that with you today how much, just check in your own heart. Yes. Because every time I give it to anything, I want to understand in my spirit what God is saying towards honoring all of the people that God is using in your life to help you. But remember, all the honor still belongs to the Most High. Don't lift anybody up, any institution, any program beyond the Most High. Mm -hmm. Because that's where Abraham received. And God has not only delivered you all, and us too. That's right. And provided our every need. Yeah. And so let us get the tithing right <laughs> from the spirit of the thing. That's right. That before we do the thing, we see the spirit of the thing. That's right. It's about honoring and valuing God the most high. Bless you. Have a great day. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember to like, mm -hmm. subscribe. And share. Yes. And I just want to say thanks to all those yes. who have been commenting, mm -hmm. those who have been contacting us and talking with us. We really appreciate you. We do. We, we really appreciate do. your comments no matter what you think, mm -hmm. if it was good, if it was encouraging, if it wasn't, whatever. We are so glad to hear from you. Bless you. Have a great day. Stay in honor.